Well, good evening and welcome to this evening's competition. I can see that we've got one or two people already dropped in. Good evening, Neil. Um, I've changed your name, by the way, Neil. Well, the spelling of it. Um, it's always I before E, in it, except for when it's a name. Never mind. Good evening, Sue and Jill. Um, yeah, you're a little bit late today, Jill. You, um, you've certainly missed the front seat. As has um, GH. He's, uh, he's a little bit late this evening. It's cute to get it early. Uh, just looking at your uh, comment there, Sue, it's uh, quite a good one. You have to get there early in queue, ready for the seat front row. So, once again, as I say, welcome to everybody. Um, numbers are just slowly going up. It's um, my number counts working this evening, so um, it... Um, it might just show me numbers in the end. Good evening, Diva. Jump the queue. <laughs> yeah. You was um you must have had an early tea tonight, Neil. Or you got through the steak very quickly. Graham H, evening all. Back row well, you're not quite on the back row, uh, G H. You're um you're sort of couple of rows back so <laughs> yeah Neil Neil was the um, the early starter today so I'm just going to change the screen I think because I want people just to see the next screen which we'll be talking about <coughs> in a short while so hope everybody's well uh, good evening Jim welcome to this evening's soiree hopefully um, there'll be a few happy people by the end of the evening so we'll uh, we'll explain a little bit about the circumstances um, in a short while let everybody know what's happening a little bit of news um, what we could do and it's only a thought if anybody's got any photographic questions that they would like to drop in the chat um, we've got sort of 10 minutes here to fill and if it's something that helps you as a member then uh, do drop a, a quick um, note in the chat um, and I'll see if I can answer it if at all possible off the top of my head um, possibly won't possibly can we don't know um, good evening Michael Michael's just dropped in welcome Michael this evening um, hope you're well and uh, after these few days of warmer weather hope you're keeping warm I must admit I have put the um, I have put a bit of heat on in the office so it uh, it was a little chilly when I came in so well uh, hopefully as the evening progresses it'll warm up in here and we shall be all okay well I will anyway so and I'm sure you've all got a nice warm drink and a blanket round your legs just to keep you warm so yeah we're getting one or two more now so it's uh, it is building up ah another one just popped in good evening Alan welcome this evening to uh, to you Alan and one and all and I was saying to the others hopefully um, for those people who have entered this evening hopefully some of you will be 
a little bit happier by the end of the night there's no reason I must admit there's absolutely no reason for anybody to be upset with what they've sent through because they're all very good images especially um, especially as they've all been taken on something other than a camera um, it is amazing how good these cameras are getting another one popped in hi Peter welcome to you this evening and uh, hope that you're well and as I said to the others keeping warm so keep uh, keep running up running up and down the room until it starts good evening Bob another person just popped up um, may have to leave early I don't know whether you've got permission you better ask um, the chairman oh you are aren't you uh, all right we'll let you off Viv good evening Viv welcome this evening um, yes as you put Viv we hope that everyone is well and uh, it is just well at Dunham it's just beginning to uh, just a few spots of rain so we could do without that really but well I say we could do without it we could do with some and if it's going to come best time of the day to come is night isn't it if we get a good shower at night it'll do a lot of good so good evening Paul Paul's just dropped in so uh, another member another welcome good evening but we'll watch later yes Bob yes by all means uh, do watch later um, especially if you've put something in the end it sorry something in yourself as well just to see if you just to see if you're up there with the uh, with the others the uh, of course don't tell me if you have I don't want to know so um, all I've got is the images and what they were taken on so it does um, it does just uh, give me a little bit of an indication of how it was taken no pinhole cameras this year so uh, we have had that in the past so um, but no mainly in fact I think I think all of them was phones this year so just looking quickly down the list yeah yeah looking like all was phones this year so it um, and I must admit the images are very very good so well we're not far off now just a couple of minutes to go we'll just uh, see if uh, any more are popping up uh, good evening Caroline um, Dave and Caroline are here yes welcome I'm hoping that um, possibly if Jana's joined us from Scotland um, welcome to you Jan if you're listening um, we've not got uh, we've not got Dora in on yet so um, we'll have to wait and see if she pops up Caroline welcome Caroline so that's two Carolines tonight so um, and both popped in at roughly the same time so yeah just got another minute we'll just wait a second or two um, just to see who else uh, um, pops in we're just hovering around the 20 at the moment so um, not far off the numbers but uh, just one or two more to uh, come in yet um, so <laughs> just seen what you put Caroline um, is it a drop of red or is it white are you a red person or a white person so good evening Michael Hudson welcome this evening and a, a big welcome to one and all um, we are just coming up to seven o'clock in fact it's just 
click seven. So um, I will start with the um, one or two notices. Firstly, a very big welcome to everybody. Um, once again, um, I think um, all of these weeks seem to come around very, very quickly. Uh, I don't know about you, but you oh rose fruity wine oh so you're in between not not a pure red and not a not a white one so uh, rose fruity so enjoy yeah these weeks come around quite quickly so um you know it does um it does make it pass quite quick yeah doreen's just popped in um she's only just managed to scrape in right notices um We've got one or two things, as you can see up on the screen there, I've got the um, competition um, descriptions up there. Um, just say one or two more hellos. Hi Mark, hi Gail, hi Ray. Um, yep, yeah, and I've already wished Jan a welcome. So um, yeah, competitions. The next potty competition is the terrestrial um, transport competition. And as you can see there on the screen, it says print only, but of course we will be doing this one once again as a um, digital. But when you enter your um, entries, do make sure that you put them into the color print and the colour black and white folders in your Dropbox. So, you know, yes, it is digital, uh, but as I say, do put them in your um, folders, colour and black and white. I'll tell you what I want to do with the digital one in a minute. So that transport uh, competition, as it says there, terrestrial transport, motorized or man that means man as in pulled etc pushed uh, animal propelled um, buses trains if you go back to the man rickshaws or anything like that so it doesn't matter modern or older um, but not old old pictures um, pictures that have been taken of recent um, when I say that in the last year or two um so not really really old pictures um but you could have taken them at some uh, uh center where there's old cars etc um or vehicles such as beamish etc etc that's the only one i can think of at the moment so cars carts rickshaws bikes etc just notice no airplanes though no motocross stock cars racing etc so no motorsports um it's got to be normal terrestrial transport etc the i think i saw gd in the pub now i'm still here ray um the next one after that and this is just for a little bit of um uh a, 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 an up date really the natural history one is the one that comes after that now we've no idea what will be happening at that particular time but it is a digital competition anyway so just to get your heads around it um, this one includes animals insects fish flower fungi trees etc all of the above in their own environment no captive animals or cultivated plant life and as it says there in the footnote Please note, as with all wildlife, nature, images, only minimal processing is allowed in software. Cropping, sharpening, converting to JPEG from RAW. No composites or in-camera magic, virtually straight from the camera. So, because anything to do with nature, uh, wildlife, etc., uh, the judges always expect it to be virtually natural. So... Um, so that's the competition side. The next one is Bob's Monthly is coming up. Uh, apparently Jill's told me this month it is clouds, rain, sunset, sunrise, storms, etc. And don't forget the closing date is the 20th 
and uh, they need to be in the uh, monthly Dropbox folder by the 20th of this month. Um, just a, a shout out to anyone out there. If you are listening in, um, this is a public, although it's a, a club YouTube site, it is a public as well. So if you would like to just drop us a quick note in um, in the chat just to say hello, you're very welcome to do so. If you haven't liked us, if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do and then you'll be informed of anything that's coming up. Right, um, this is a bit of a shout out to anyone who feels they would like to have a little go at um, uh, giving a little talk on images. Anyone volunteer uh, to give a, like a half hour talk? Probably half an hour you would need probably about 50 or 60 images something like that so um, you know if you've got a thought that you'd like to show us some of your images get in touch with me I'll run you through it help you to um, put it all together and we can go on from there the next thing is what we're gonna do we had a, a committee meeting the other night and um, what we're gonna do is ask you all to put together six images um, with a short write-up on each image, sort of with a few settings and uh, two or three little paragraphs so that you can send them all in. Uh, we'll let you know how to send them in in a short while. And um, then I'll show you the images on the screen and read your comments out. So um, it, uh, it'll be done through Dropbox. So all you'll have to do is put your six images in Dropbox drop me an email with a little bit of a write-up on each one and then I'll read it out for you on your images. Um, just make your images um, some of your favourites. Not necessarily your definite favourites, but you know, choose a mixture of um, what you've got, why you do them, why you like doing that type of photography, a bit of a settings and uh, let us share what we do. Last one, Caroline sent you all out a uh, form today to fill in. Now, I appreciate that you've had a couple of forms recently, but um, what we're trying to achieve is to get a little bit more of a handle into um, what you want to do over the year. And we can only get that by knowing what you have so that um, we can then base the... Um, the evening's events on things that interest you. The members at the Dunholm Camera Club are what we're all about. So we want to make sure that the content is good for all of our members. So, you know, do make sure that you fill that in. What you will have to do, it wasn't on the, um, uh, on the email, but when you open the Word document up, just go to any of the lines, start typing, delete some of the dots, um, and then you've got to save it before you can save, send it back. So once you've filled it in, save it to your computer, and then send us an email, attach the saved file, and send it back to Jill. So that form once sending back to Jill, and then her and um, Doreen will put it all together and come up with a program for next year. Uh, let me just read. Yeah, that's it. I can put my piece of paper down. I can move on and we can get on with this evening's proceedings. So everybody should have seen that on the screen now. Transport print only. Um, that needs to be in shortly. Jill will send you a email round in a short while um, but um, that's all about um, the transport competition right let's just find this image we're going to go into the competition this evening and i'll put the first image up it doesn't matter and um, the way i'm going to judge it this evening and, and a little explanation for those 
who don't go to the LPA competitions, what happens in some of these um, competitions? Uh, the Foster's Challenge is one especially where the judge will look at the images over three rounds and delete or dismiss some of the images as they go along in round one and then the rest of the images go through to round two then the judge will um, once again get rid of some of the images in round two and then in round three I shall get it down to a certain number and then from that certain number what I'm going to do is take the monthly competition type numbers and I'm going to choose you five uh, top five from the images this evening so if an image is going to be kept back then I probably won't say a lot about it at the time and this is how it works when we do a, um, uh, a the competition for something as I say like the Fosters um, so it will go through now dependent upon time we'll see how we get on for time but I don't think if any somebody could let me know but I don't think there's any clapping or anything tonight so it may not be exactly at 5 2 that I stop uh, it depends in the proceedings where I am so right off we go this image number one let me just grab a pen this image number one is called a straggle of daisies and was taken with a Samsung now um, as I say with some of these images I'm not going to say a lot if it's going to go through uh, a bit further this one is going to go through but one thing that the author whoever they are um, did make me do was look up because I thought um, there was being very um, clever and I thought a bunch of daisies was called a straggle so I had to look it up but uh, nevertheless um, nothing about a straggle came up so um, but I am going to keep that one for the next round right this next one is a street in the Balegate during lockdown and this has been taken with an iPhone um, as I say all all um, cameras are sorry phones are very good the cameras on the phones are very good nowadays so we get some good clear images um, this particular one I'm just feeling a little bit as though there's quite a lot of extra space up here that is I appreciate that the, the authors sort of kept the sign in on the right hand side and, and the street sign but there is a lot of spare what we call white space and as for that I just feel that I would have liked to have seen possibly it in a different sort of format or maybe because the words were street and I can read it so it's clear enough to read even though that's um, uh, there it is just slightly slightly blurred now it could be that the sign was not a good sign and it's just showing that way but the sign it does add to the image but possibly you could have taken it off at the top of the um, no entry sign and uh, just made it a little bit less of uh, an amount here um, so that one I am going to let go on this uh, first round um, but still a very nice image and still well seen so the next one is a walk on the wolds side and that's once again with an iPhone um, nice image uh, so I'm gonna keep that one so we're gonna pass through on that one the next one is another sunny day and that once again has been taken on an iPhone so nice image we're um, I'm gonna keep it so we're not gonna say a lot about it so we'll come back to them and give you some instruction well not instructions some critique as we go through them um, Ashing Lane Nature Reserve Pond 
that's been taken with a Samsung. Now, when it says Samsung or something like that, I appreciate that it could be a Samsung tablet. Um, it might be a phone. I'm not too sure what it is. Um, this one I am going to let go, but uh, I must say that at the end of the day, the colour retention, this, all of these trees, the greenery and the water, all of the algae, etc., and the leaves, uh, and all of this green in the foreground, absolutely spot on in the um, colour rendition of the image. Uh, we've got a little bit of blue in the sky, so that just fills that in with the bit of cloud that's there. Um, nice image, but I don't feel that I've got a particular focal point to land on. So um, it just it's just um, possibly not as strong as some of them this evening so I am going to let that one go um, barn the barn was taken with a Samsung this one I'm going to keep um, it will go through to the next round like the rest of them the next one is B on wood and it was taken with a, um, what was it taken with? With an iPhone. So, um, I must admit, I can't remember where the hell I saw it. But I saw something like this on Facebook the other day. Um, I don't know what site it was on or what it was on. Um, but it was said that it was gnawing the wood. Um, so, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm keeping that one for the time being. The next one is breakfast on the wing. Um, well, we've got the wings and we've got the spider, uh, but there's soon not going to be a lot of body left. Um, that was taken with a Huawei. So um, this particular image I am going to let go. Um, it's going to be one of the ones dismissed on this occasion. Well caught, but it's just not quite sharp enough for the competition this evening as against some of the other images and the the uh, content of the other images etc um, we've got everything happening here we've got the spider we've got the spider and the fly we've got the crane fly or whatever it is i'm not too much by me insects um, so it shows everything that's happening but as i say just a little bit too soft in its um, appearance Possibly it's had a bit of a crop and it's just made it a little bit weaker. Um, but that one I am going to let go. The next one is Crazed Egg. And this is taken with a Samsung. And we've got this Crazed Egg. And then it looks like it's been put back together. Um, probably an old pot egg or something that's uh, been put together. Um, this is one that I'm going to let go, but um, after saying that, the actual image itself is um, is okay. It's sharp enough all over the top here. What I would have done is to have got a piece of paper or a bit of white sheet or something and stood it up this right-hand side so that it just threw a little bit more light back on this right-hand side of the egg. That would have just brightened it up a little bit more so but nevertheless the top is sharp and we've got a nice plain background just with these a little bit of a vignette around the outside um, so yeah it's okay as an image but not as strong as some of them this, this evening so that one is going dry dock um, dry dock was taken on an iphone um, this is one that i'm going to keep for the short while so I'll just pass by that one at the moment Fillingham Castle taking on a Huawei um, yeah I must admit quite a few years ago and I'm talking probably early 2000s I was when I was at Warner's selling cars I sold these people a, a, a new 4x4 and at that particular time I had to de deliver it out to them and I was taken inside and given the check etc and 
all of this and I thought it'd be a lovely place for the camera club to go and um, be able to photograph the building uh, and they soon told me where to go so um, we never got to photograph it but I am going to keep that one till next round flower plus sky this is a who are we and uh, I'm going to let this one go it's a nice image well seen well caught very difficult one to actually get because of course you've got such a, a large flower with such a small fly now I don't know I mean you've always got that um, thought of well if I get any closer uh, I'll probably scare the fly off and it won't mean as much but um, if we could have sort of cropped in uh, or got I should say got closer not cropped in if we could, could have got closer it would have just have made the fly stand out a little bit more so um, nice image well caught and it's amazing the sort of sharpness on this stem and all these little bits here and across the flower how sharp it is but um, not as good as some of them that we shall see later so I am letting that one go. Hedgerow Rose. Another iPhone. Yeah, very nice example. So I'm going to keep that one for the moment. Hogweed. Taken with a Samsung. Now when I looked at this image, I, um, I thought, lovely and sharp. You've got it sharp from left to right, top to bottom. The only thing is I've not got a particular place to settle on it's the very nice flowers there's lots of shape to them um, maybe if you could have got one that was separated and got in nice and close to it maybe this top one if it was a good big flower on its own because it's separated from the others and you might have been able to get a bit of a close-up on it um, but I just feel tonight there's not a particular spot to settle on so um, for that reason it is um, going but it, as I say nothing wrong with the evening uh, sorry nothing wrong with the image but not as um, good as some of them this evening laburnum in flower yet yeah, very good example of the of the um, laburnum lovely colors aren't they at this time of the year and the phones managed to pick up the top of these uh, leaves and the flowers here in the foreground this seems to be the bit that's the cameras locked onto and given us some good sharp detail maybe had you decided to take the shot in a landscape orientation and chopped it off by there you could have gone in closer and you could have got this a bit sharper and a little bit more detail at the moment I'm jumping from this bottom branch up to all of the flower at the top uh, and then we've got this quite a large area here which we've got no flowers in we've got a bit of yellow in the background of course but um, not the type of flower that we've got in the foreground so but yeah possibly landscape image getting closer on this bottom bit and it would have, look at this detail on the top of these leaves it's really really nice so but that one is going late evening sun on tealby church tower taken with an iphone very nice image that one's staying for this round lavender beetle taken with a one plus never heard about a one plus until i read this so we'll have to find out what the one plus is like uh, it's certainly got a good camera by the looks of it so but i'm going to keep that one for another round leaf filigree yeah it is what it says i have no idea how that's been done um but it is um very nice been carried out very well and that one's going through to the next round as well light dappled del nettlem or i should have said light dappled del nettlem and that was taken with a who are we yeah nice scene we've got the walkway going straight through the trees and then we've just got these two youngsters 
just breaking up that pathway. Um, nice image. We've got all of the um, sun, the rays, and as it says in the title, the dappled bits of lighting coming through. Um, it, it's it's a good image, but once again, it's it's just what we've got put in front of us tonight. So I've got to let a few go on this first round. So this is one of them. But once again, sharp, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's got. I like the way you've got the separation of the two kids. If one had been straight in front of the other, it wouldn't have worked. But as it is, you've caught it just right. Uh, but I will let that one go. Lockdown bliss. A bit of peace and quiet. iPhone. Yeah. Nice little sort of rural village um, picture. We've just got this sign in here. Uh, naturally, of course, you can't read it. But we've just got this sign in to give you some interest on here. We've got the young chap here. And then we follow the water through into the background. Um, it is just... It's nice and sharp in this foreground area. Um, and it, it, it does go through into the building here. Um, but I'm just... I'm really struggling on the amount of good images that you've given me this evening to um, to look at and to judge. So I've got to be cruel to some of you, unfortunately, and this one is going. But it's, I like the way you've got it leading in. We go under the bridge, we pick up the house, uh, and we can, we've can. we got plenty of things to look at around the image. Um, but that one I will let go this evening. Lumsdale Falls. Very nice image, and that one's staying till the next round. Midnight Moon, taken with the one plus, possibly the same person as we had earlier. Um, that one is Midnight Moon with Zoom. So, no doubt they've got a fixture for the phone that like these things that you put over the top and you can uh, um, you can uh, zoom in on things as you can see by this so I'm gonna keep that one uh, just seen something pop up Doreen's just put Gromit watching good evening Gromit hope you're well right the next image is my lockdown buddy yeah somebody's thought outside of the box and just gone for something just that little bit different um they've got the stilts on this evening so um but yeah i like that one it's something just a little different so we're keeping that one um on today's walk yeah i like the way we led in on that one so i'll keep that one for another round pink rose taken with a who are we a lot of who are we shots isn't they um yep yeah, pink rose um nice example so we're keeping that one poppies at sunset and another who are we shot and another good shot as well so um i'm going to keep that one rainbow on an iphone yep yeah, we can see the rainbow there so um once again a little bit like the shadow shot the only thing of its uh, nature this evening so I am just going to keep that one and comment on it later. Rain, uh, Rambling Rector. That must be the name of it. I'm not too sure. That was taken on an iPhone. Once again, good example. So I'm keeping that one till next round. I've just seen Steve's popped up. Welcome, Steve. Nice to see you here, Steve. It's uh, great to see you join in. How do I get on top chat? You just type in the um, chat box there and it will keep coming up, Steve, and I shall see it if you've got any comments. So just keep dropping them in. Um, right, next one is a rhododendron, and that's taken with an iPhone. Um, I think this one, I'm going to let this one go. It's uh, a nice image. It's nice and sharp. It's sharp down to the... Um, leaves down the back there the petals are nice and sharp and we've got detail in the in the base of the leaves the flowers here um, 
it is just a little bit bright on an edge or two and as I said earlier I've got to eliminate one or two so consequently this is one of the one or two um, but nevertheless nice image uh, I like the detail um, but just not quite got what some of the others have this evening Rosebud taken with an iPhone yeah this particular one it's strange because um, whereas I've not seen a lot of noise in some of the other images this one's got a bit of noise in it and now whether it's because possibly it's been cropped I'm not sure um, <laughs> hi Steve no your mugshot's not being shown no nothing at all no so uh, not a thing so uh, no we only see the chat when you type in there Steve but uh, good of you to join in and type um, yeah this one's a little bit noisy so um, it is uh, going this evening um, nice example though um, we've got one or two bits of bokeh in the background there um, not too sure oh, don't know what that's popped up for but it can go away hmm never had that before um, so a um, little bit noise in it nice example the bokeh in the background is quite off-putting to a certain extent but there's nothing when you do this sort of photography with a phone that you can do about it you have to have what you keep what you get nice example but I am going to let that one go. Rose in Bloom, um, taken with a Huawei. And that one's quite nice. I'm going to keep that one this evening. It's a good example. Stu Snoopy, still standing, but well past his prime, taken with a Huawei. Yeah, um, it's a good image, nice and sharp. Uh, we've just got those flowers behind. So... Um, We've just got a little bit of colour in the background to fill in. I think if I'd been you, I would have got down a little bit, um, a little bit lower, so that we was not looking down at it quite so much, but a little bit more straight on. Um, the actual image is nothing wrong with the image. It's sharp. It's clear. No noise. It's a good image. But uh, as I say, unfortunately, some have to go through the first round. Uh, and that's one of them so but it's still a nice image well caught Solomon's Arch taken with a Huawei yes I like that image I shall keep that one till the next round Steny got radar dish once again another nice image let me move my mouse for you another nice image so um, that's uh, gonna stay as well stripe and stripes I start again stripes and circles um, yep that one's a good one something totally different again so we'll keep that one sunset on the Witham Huawei god these Huawei's are popular aren't they um, yep another nice image gonna keep that one till next round taking a drink another Huawei yep lovely sharp image isn't it so um we'll just keep that one till the next round the cafe is quiet this is a one plus um so possibly the same person again uh, that'll be three we've had from a one plus so maybe that's the three images um yeah very nice black and white so i'll keep that one the underwater world of atlantis with an eye taken with an iPhone once again lovely image keeping that one for the time being view from my garden taken with an iPhone yet yeah, a nice image uh, good and clear nice colors uh, we've just got just enough brightness in this uh, hedgerow here um, what I think I would have possibly have done though is tried just to get a little bit lower so that you could have put this weather vane just up into the sky so that it um, it could be seen a, a little bit better um, my eye is drawn to this uh, weather vane and so I would possibly like to have seen it separated from the background trees and bushes and the field 
so maybe a little bit lower and just to separate uh, it a bit nevertheless good sky nice colors and uh, just about the right amount of brightness under these dark areas but I will let that one go this evening and the last one on this first round woodland walk once again a who are we it looks like the author has taken the image just after we've had some wind because we've not got the brown leaves blowing off in the um, in the back end we've got the green leaves so no doubt we've had a bit of wind there and it's just taken them um, uh, just taken the leaves off so um, we've got all the leaves in the, on the ground nice lead in straight into the background the background there we've just got a little bit of um, brightness on this top that's just burnt out and a little bit in the sky would have been nice to have had somebody in the image or something in the image um, it, um, it is a nice image in itself um, but as I say there is stronger images this evening so that one's going as well right I'm just going to go back to the beginning and we will go through our second round so the second round is a straggle of daisies I'm not going to read out the phones anymore a straggle of daisies this one is going this evening um, now very nice image I like the way you've got the flowers against the pink background and you've got it on a very sympathetic glass and wood table there so it all works well together the colors etc um, nice and sharp throughout not something that you can arrange you get the um, the flowers basically as they are so um, very nice image very well taken nice and sharp um, but that one is going this round so let me just have a quick look at these comments I see things are just happening uh, yeah, thanks right don't know what that's about you know, stupid laptop dropped out what was the comment on yellow rose sorry I can't remember I think I've still got it actually um, Gail I think I've still got it uh, gone through thanks lovely view of the garden though Paul who are you Tony's not been round with his luminar <laughs> yet right we're on to the next one now um, which is a walk on the wall side yeah this one is going this time around very nice image we can see through the gate we can look at the um, all of the landscape out there and I like the way the authors included this uh, overhanging branch which does just fill this totally blue sky you can see we've got a little bit of mist in the in the background there in the sky a little bit of cloud or something but uh, this tree at the top does fill it in nicely we've got interest in the bottoms with the vines or whatever they are uh, and we can look at the various fields but that one is going on this round another sunny day I still like that one so that one's staying the next one ashing lay oh we've had that one the next one is barn yes I like the barn that one's still staying let me just get rid of my mouse the beyond wood yeah this one I'm gonna let it go this time because I'm not too sure which way it was round it it looks like the it was a fairly close-up picture because we can see the depth of field here which is across its nose it doesn't quite extend to its eye um, so we have got a very shallow depth of field it does give some detail on its back and you can see the bits of moisture and pollen and this that and the other um, but nevertheless we have got quite a lot of softness in the image now as I say I don't know whether that's with the cropping or whether it was of course we haven't got the depth of field with the phone if you do use your phones do make sure that you go into the settings and look for the pro settings because that allows you to set the 
um, set the apertures and everything shutter speeds just as you would with your um, camera so do make sure you delve into the camera settings uh, and look at them all to make sure that you can make the most of it but a very nice image well caught uh, but it is going this evening um, the next one is dry dock yeah it's a very nice image I like the black and white um, effect that you've given it the the only thing I would say is that the you've just chopped off the top of this um, mast and I think I would have liked you to have included that now you have got a little bit of spare room at the bottom you could have chopped a bit off at the bottom and put a bit more at the top so um, not quite as strong as some this evening so I will let that one go um, what have we got now we've got Fillingham Castle yeah I'm still keeping filling I'm, I'm having a like in Fillingham Castle so we'll keep that one the next one is late evening no it's not I've hopped on one it's hedgerow hedgerow rose and this one it is going this time um, I'm beginning now to have to look at the strength of the image against some of the other images and as such um, it's one of those things that I have to put it up with those that I now know are still in the competition and uh, this one's not quite as strong lovely image though I love the soft pastel pink and the yellows in the center etc you've done very well to get it nice and sharp and placed it fairly central that doesn't matter on this occasion um, so very nice image if it had been a, a full camera competition and you was allowed the adjustments I would have just have cloned across those two bits there I know you can't in this competition but uh, I would have just made those smooth so that um, it didn't draw the judges attention to those couple of little marks very nice image though um, but it is going this round right the next one is the church TLB church um, yeah nice image um, I'm gonna let it go this round but it is very nice I'm just getting the feeling that it's just one tipping over to the right a little bit it's nice and sharp um, we've got the good coloration on the stonework and we can see right up to the top to the weather vane and we've got detail in the trees and everything but I just think it's lacking a little bit I would have liked to have seen a little bit more of the church I think that's what I'm trying to say um, it would have been a nice rather than just the tower once again I've got to look at it against the other Im images that have been presented in front of me this evening so um, that is something that I've just got to be aware of so uh, I will let that one go lavender beetle yep lavender beetle staying leaf leaf filigree yep very nice image that one's staying the next one is Lumsdale Falls and of course that one's staying as well Midnight Moon yep it's staying that sounds like somebody on telly doesn't it can't think who it is um, my location sorry my lockdown buddy yep I'm still liking that one um, yeah, it's just the, the shadow and everything and I like the way that you've held the phone up so oh, shut up you're not supposed to be talking about it right the next one is on today's walk um, this one is going this time um, I like the way that you've got it up the side of the hedge and we led into the bottom but when we get to the bottom we've not quite got anything to settle on so we can follow this bit of a path down here but we come across this hedge so we've only got the hedge to settle on 
possibly the tree is as interesting a part of the image as the bottom so um, I'm gonna let that one go but once again lovely and sharp and good sky um, nice detail um, good image but as I say some better this evening the next one is pink rose yet yeah, nice pink rose um, I'm, I'm having to be very picky now honestly folks because um, it's there's so many good images that I've got to get them down to a lower number this next round so um, so yes that uh, that one is a very nice image nice colors um, I'm just a little bit I, I know it's difficult and you're on a phone and you can't do the manipulation to it um, but these light areas are just spoiling the image image uh, around the edge um, and it's drawing my eye away from the flower so lovely lovely image um, in the actual rose area I bet it smelt nice as well but um, very nice image but um, I am gonna let that one go this round poppies at sunset they're gonna stay with us the rainbow yeah I think um, it's a nice image you've caught the rainbow nice uh, but I think it's just possibly a little bit weak in its coloring etc we can see the rain in the sky even I think this is rain coming down which is creating the uh, rainbow I like the way you've just caught this hedge top with the weeds as well it just takes this plainness off this field now whether that was um, contrived or not I'm not sure but it works so well done just for keeping a bit of foreground detail in there but I am going to let that one go the rambling rector yeah it's a nice image still like that one the yellow rose um, let me get down to it rose in bloom Hawaii yeah I, I am going to let this one go this time um, I think it's still a nice image but it has just got like the pink rose it's just got one or two things that that just let it down in as much as the lighter edges here are just a little bit too bright really this is this is good on these edges here and this petal here but the lighter ones are a little bit too light and then we've got although the fence is better than the white in the last rose image uh, it just does attract you to look up at this top corner so that one does go this round and the next one is Solomon's Arch and I'm still liking Solomon's Arch I like the colors and I like the purple so keep that one for a minute Steny got radar dish and this one's going on this occasion I'm just I'm liking the image um, I think you've got your exposure spot on across the whole image um, I wonder whether you would have been better just flipping it so that this main stem stay stem pole whatever it is was coming from this corner because we tend to read from left to right so consequently it would have looked a little bit um, better now you could say well if we do that if I'd taken it in that sort of a way we wouldn't see this but of course flipping it you will um, now whether Jill would have allowed you to flip it or not I'm not sure but um, that may have been too much of a um, manipulation on the image but uh, and, it, and it would have made everything read backwards so maybe I ought to shut up at that point nice image but I am letting it go uh, stripes and circles that one's going to stay with us again let me get rid of the mouse um, sunset on the Witham very very nice image I am going to let this one go um, it works well it's got a nice little glow in the sky here and that's reflected into the water um, but I'm just I'm looking up the water 
and I think the one thing that catches me eye is the cathedral church whatever it is on this right hand side um, I would have liked to have seen something at the bottom I know there's nothing at the bottom um, but it's um, it's just the way that you perceive the picture and what you see in the picture so it would have been nice to have seen down to the bottom there so um, that one is going this evening but very sharp all the way through very good image right taking a drink that is so sharp yeah i'm just going to keep that one for another round um the hunter what have we got where are we the cafe is quiet oh yeah this is the one plus whatever the one plus is yeah very nice and sharp image um I think from the point of view of the um, uh, content, the actual content, we're jumping around all the tables and all the chairs, and we've got a lovely sky here, um, but we've not got as much interest in the image as what we could have done. Um, <clears throat> not quite sure how you would have done it, but maybe to have got up a little bit higher and not to have chopped the mug to have made sure that you got the edge of the mug in so but a very nice image very nice image but that one is going the underwater world is staying so we're into our final round of deletions so at this point you have got seven images left so i can just look in what time is we can have a um just let me know on the comments as possibly as quick as you can whether you would like to go into a break and see the um, results afterwards whether you would like the results now or whether you would um, would like to um, how can I put it um, I forgot what I was saying now because I read something um, whether you want to go into a break now whether you want to see the results um, and we can have a general chat about photography afterwards in the chat section questions and answers etc after the break just let me know uh, it does take a few minutes well not a few minutes it takes about 30 seconds or so for it to come through to me so somebody make the lead and um, put what you would like to do i'll take the first answer that comes up but we ain't got any answers yet so um and i see caroline said it was the lincoln cathedral uh, it did look like it caroline graham h want more entertainment after the results and think break so yes we'll have a we'll go into a break then because that's what people are suggesting we'll go into the break now and we'll come back for jill says how many images have we got we've got i've got to look at them we've got uh eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen we've got about 14 yeah yeah well ray's keeping up with us all he's got 14 and so have i so um no caroline <laughs> caroline's got lost somewhere ray's right with 14 so um looks like we're going into a break folks so um we'll go into a break I said seven, but um, I'm one step ahead of you. So uh, we've got 14 left. So, um, right, we're definitely going into a break and we'll come back. It's 25. We'll come back at quarter past and uh, we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, we'll catch you all in a few minutes. Um, as I say, we'll come back for quarter past. 
So it's a time for another glass of wine, Caroline. So I'll end it now, catch you in a short while. Be back for about ten past. <laughs>